droplets. You look busy. Hi guys, can you tell me where I've ended up please? You're in the street next to our school. Today it looks like we're going straight from the street into the sea. What do you mean? As a drop of water, my life never stops. Thanks to the sun, we evaporate back up to the sky, we all get together to form clouds, and after that, we fall back down to the ground as rain. That's the water cycle. That's right. Whatever us water drops do when we land on the ground really depends on the type of land we've landed on. The cycle varies depending on whether we land on the road, someone's roof, or in the countryside. Are you done chatting? Are you coming? Sorry guys, I've got to go. Look, isn't that Droplet? Yes, it is. Hey, Droplet, where are you going? Nowhere, apparently. This time we landed in a parking lot. This sort of ground does not let us seep through. So we all gathered together in puddles. Once the sun comes up, we evaporate and it's back up to the sky to travel around as clouds until we fall back down to the earth as rain. Since there are a lot of roads and buildings nowadays, it's become harder for us to be absorbed into the ground. Most of the time we end up trickling down roads until we end up in the sea. Or we get stuck on some big concrete patch that doesn't absorb any water till we evaporate. I'll soon be following him. But what can we do when we see drops of water that are stuck, like you? How can we help? If there are more wells and gardens in your homes, this would help stop the rainwater ending up in the road and then in the sea. Even public gardens and built-up areas are important. You guys will have spaces to play in and relax, and us water drops would have somewhere to go when we land in the street. Besides that, trees help make an area nicer and help clean the air from pollution. Is there anything else we can do? It's important to think about how and where rainwater will flow when building car parks, roads and paved areas. That way, the water could be reused. Take this car park, for example. It could have been built using flooring that allows water to flow through, either by using gutters or a special type of concrete that allows rainwater to pass through it and into the soil underneath, before it dries up. That makes a lot of sense, because you do not trickle all the way down to the sea or dry up in the sun, but you'll go down into the soil and rock. We have quite a few soakways in Malta, these help us trickle down into the rocks. What's a soakaway? A soakaway is like a big well, but the floor isn't covered, so that over time, the water is absorbed by the rock underneath. Instead of evaporating, or going into the sea. Exactly. That way, the rainwater that lands on our streets isn't lost, but it is given the chance to pass through the rocks slowly, eventually ending up in the aquifer. I have to go now because the sun's come up and I'm drying up. I really wish Droplet comes back down into a garden or the countryside next time. I was lucky this time. I landed in the soil. Now I can start my exciting trip through the rocks. This project is part financed by the European Union under the Cohesion Fund, European Structural and Investment Funds 2014-2020.